All right, so today I want to give you some information, and I think that this information will be very valuable to you as a business owner, to your business experience. I've been in business now for about 10 years. Started my own business in 2013 after working for companies, being in the military for about 10 years. I decided to say, you know what, now it's time for me to take the bull by the horns and be responsible for my own future, be responsible for my own income. And that is a huge challenge, especially when you don't really know about business, when you've been dependent on jobs and someone else providing income for you, you provide the labor and they provide the income. Um, that's different than you actually going out and working for yourself and producing your own income. That's a challenge, especially when you first start out. So I want to share with you some things that I've learned along the way that have helped me to continue to be consistent in business over this 10 year period. Because if you take a look at the numbers, most business owners do not make it to 10 years. We've been able to achieve that. And I want to share some of those experiences with you. Number one, I think that people dream and it's good to dream, but we get caught up in our dream sometimes as business owners. We do more dreaming than we do working toward the dream. We do more thinking and thinking what it's going to be like when we get there instead of working to make that picture real, right? So you have to be careful not to get caught up in your dream. Yes, you have a goal in your mind and you want to begin with the end in mind. You want to begin with the idea that you've achieved this goal and this is what it's going to look like, right? But there's a lot of work that has to go into that. And instead of getting so focused on the dream, don't get me wrong, you do need to know why you're doing what it is that you're doing, but don't get so focused on the dream that you don't put the work into the dream because you can dream all day long. But if you don't put any work into that dream, as they say, faith without work is dead, right? So your dream is dead without work. So don't get caught up in the dream. Get to work so that you can bring the dream to fruition. Another thing that I want you to take a look at is one of the things that I've experienced in this business is complacency, right? Most businesses do not last 10 years. I've been fortunate. I've been blessed to be able to be in business over the last 10 years. It is so easy to get complacent. After you've started to make money and you've been making money over a period of time, sometimes you can ease up off of the gas, right? Because it takes a lot of focus. It takes a lot of work to keep producing, to keep producing over and over and over again. It takes a lot of focus and energy and effort in order to be able to do that. And sometimes after you've done that, you relax and you start to get complacent. You start to get satisfied. You don't want to put as much work as you've been putting in. You're saying to yourself, man, I deserve to kind of enjoy the fruits of my labor. But you have to be careful of that in a business. Because if you start enjoying too much, what you'll f soon see is that your income starts to fall off some. You're not making as much money as you were making. And your ideas aren't as fresh as they were. They probably need to be freshened up a bit because you know, you've been working for so long. Now you're starting to take breaks. Now you're starting to ease off of the gas. There are updates that need to be made. A business is like a baby. You always have to be working. Uh, to nurture it, to make it a better entity, to make it better and better and better. And it does not get that way on its own. So it's always you being involved in some way to keep moving your business forward. So don't get complacent. Yes, all of us get to certain points in life where we need to relax a bit, right? But you have to be very strategic about how you break how you take time away from your business. Don't get into those long extended times away from business because you're not paying attention to your business. Your business will be uh, sometimes in a nosedive and you recognize it too late and you end up losing the business, right? So I want you to think about that. The third thing, you hear people talking about niching down, right? And I think that niching down is good for a period of time. 
right? Being focused just on one thing for a period of time is good. I think that period of time is as long as it takes you to start producing consistent income. And then you have to share your attention, share your, your energy and your effort with other things because you're going to need to produce other streams of income. You see, if you are a truck driver or you are a freight broker and you're just dependent on freight brokering, you're just dependent on load movement in order for you to make money, you are going to have problems. And the reason for that is because there will be lulls, there will be ups and downs, there will be hills and valleys in a business, in a freight brokerage or a trucking business or any business for that matter. There will be hills and valleys and your income is going to fluctuate. And if you don't have other streams of income, if you won't, don't have other ways that you make money, it's going to cause you some serious revenue hits and it could cause you to lose your business, right? So we want to make sure that once you establish one stream of income, once you consistently making money in your main thing, you have to start to branch out and move into other areas so that you can start producing more income. That is the key thing when it comes to a business is having multiple ways that you make money. When you look at any business, any business that's been around for a long time, they don't just do one thing. They have multiple things that they are doing so that they can earn revenue in different ways. That's really, really important. The last thing that I want to share with you is cash flow. Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow is critically important to your success as a business owner, right? And you need to make sure that you have products and services that continue to produce cash flow. Okay. Now, when it comes down to cash flow, you have to be aware of how your money is flowing, how it's being utilized. What is it that you're using your money for? Right? Because at the end of the day, if you are not using your money, some of your money, a good portion of your money, if you're not putting it back into the business, you're not putting it back into yourself, paying you, then you are making a grave mistake. Because one of the main or the biggest, I would say right now, the biggest issues that business owners throughout the United States, not just business owners, people in general throughout the United States, throughout the world, is the retirement issue, right? Not having enough money for retirement, not saving enough money, right? And in a business, you are totally responsible for that. There's no pension that you're going to get unless you got it from another job that you have. You don't, you know, get pensions from driving a truck. You don't get a pension because you had your own freight brokerage business, right? It's up to you to establish a pension for yourself. It's up to you to establish retirement money for yourself. Your business is the entity that helps you to produce money for yourself, helps you to produce cash flowing through your business, right? Cash flow, cash flow, cash flow is critically important because when you have cash flow, then you can fund the things that are important to you. And retirement, saving money for yourself, putting money back into the business, putting money into technology so that you can keep growing your business, that's very, very important. Don't sleep on that because if you do, you'll find yourself in a situation at some point where you've been running a business for however long you've been running a business, but you don't have much at all to show for it. You don't have anything that you've put back for yourself. And imagine that getting to a point 59 years old and or 62 years old and you don't have anything saved. All you have to rely on is Social Security and average on average, what Social Security pays is about, I think that number was about $1,200, 12 to $1,500 a month. Now, can you live on 12 to $1,500 a month? Even if you had $100,000 saved, if you have $3,000 a month that you're paying out, that's $36,000 in a year. 
So if you're drawing $36,000 a year from $100,000, you got less than three years with $100,000, right? So we got to really focus on making money, but also saving money for yourself because nobody's going to do that for you. These are just a few things that I wanted to share with you as a business owner. Someone who has gone through some of the same things that you are going through or preparing, getting ready to go through. So take advantage of this information. Use it for yourself to help you see what's coming so that you can be prepared and make the right decisions. So until the next time, I'll see you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.